An angry Tyler's rooftop tantrum. Fed up with not being paid by a builder, tradie Simon McPherson went into revenge mode. He's returned to the job site. That's when things really turned ugly. Hey, get off the roof! I'll get off the roof when I rip it off, mate. When it's off, I'm... Shut up, mate. A building Barney to blow the roof off all others. Hey, I don't care, mate. Clearly, I don't care. I'm throwing it in the bin. A Tyler taking matters into his own hands. Mate, you've had 12 months. I'm not going to give it to him for free. And an angry builder who just won't pay. Spot for Lent. Now he's got no money. Get off the f It doesn't look good on me, but I think it's going to look worse on him. The middle of the day in Hatfield in Melbourne's north, there's a standoff over a roof. Simon McPherson, who tiled this new home, invoiced the builder almost $6,700. That was May last year, and after a deposit, all he got, he says, was excuse after excuse. Everything was pretty much, I'll pay this week, I've got money coming in, this, that. His patience wearing thin, Simon's about to make good on his threat to rip up part of the roof that remains unpaid. I even told him a few times that it was going to come off and he didn't believe me. As Simon begins smashing the tiles, the potty mouth builder turns up, a sledgehammer in hand. Hey, get off the roof! Shut up! Then the builder makes a beeline for one of Simon's workers. Pay the bill and we'll Get fix the, the property. Pay the bill, we'll fix it. The builder demands they leave Everyone as the threats pay. just keep coming. You're gonna pop a smack in the mouth as soon as you get there. Yeah. yeah. Things then become physical. <laughs> the builder appearing to grab a ladder, shoving it towards Simon. <laughs> well, have you done something like this before, sort of? No, I haven't. I haven't had to go to this extent to rip them off before, but I've, yeah, we've had builders that don't pay. Oh, irrational, because I, I thought, he, you know, he, we were both getting a bit aggressive, I must admit, you know. Um, I just wanted him off the roof, and he was, no, he was determined to stay up there and smash as many tiles as possible. Get off the Sorry, guys. What happens when you don't pay your bills? Yeah. Back at the building site, the roof rampage continues. Next week, that comes off. Get off the property. Don't come near me. Yeah, well, I took the ladder off him. I took the ladder down. Police are called. Get off the property. Push me. And both men leave. Hey, you can't call the cops. We've already called the cops. Like they rocked up and he was trying to get us for trespassing, but. Obviously, I've got receipts for all the tiles that I took off the roof. I didn't damage any of his property or anything like that. Like, I didn't go there to wreck anything. I just took my tiles off the roof and threw them on the ground. We can reveal the builder at the centre of it, Adrian Padoin, who spoke exclusively with a current affair. He said, I'm here, bring the tarps. So I've gone there and he's up on the roof already, throwing all the tiles off, ripping them all off. Adrian admits not paying up, but says he did make a deposit and was about to hand over the rest. Probably within a week or two. I own these tiles because I've got a receipt for them. Nah, right of claim, you signed the quote. There'll be some people out there who might say you shouldn't have taken it into your own hands. What do you say to them? I try being in our shoes. Yeah, because you get over it. It happens, um, you know. It happens a lot in this industry and there's no one that's going to do anything about it. Obviously VCAT and stuff like that's an ex expensive process to go through. As for whether Adrian will finally pay... At the end of the day, I'll get it fixed. He's not going to get his money. It's still going to cost me... It might cost me a bit more, but he's the one that's lost at the end of the day.
Pay the bill, we'll fix the bill. Pay the bill, we'll fix it. And the real person paying the price for that dispute, the homeowner. While police were called at the moment, they're not taking any action.